Hi everyone, it's Kevin again, and today we're going to take a quick look at the Litchi app for Phantom Drones. And since most people watching this video are new to Litchi, I've included a basic tutorial to go with it. In this video, we will do a quick install and setup of the Litchi app, create a basic waypoints flight plan using Litchi's mission hub, and last but not least, we'll fly the waypoints mission that we created. Okay, now let's start by getting the app. Since I have an iPhone, I found the app on iTunes simply by searching Litchi for DJI. Now that we've downloaded the app, let's bring it up. When the app comes up, you'll notice your current location will show on the map. The next thing we're going to need to do is create an account. Really simple. Click on the upper left hand corner where it says FPV or Waypoint. Then click on Login. After that, just provide an email address and create a password and you're good to go. Now that we've created an account with Litchi, we can create a Waypoints mission. And there are two ways to do this. One, you can create a mission using the app on your phone or tablet. Or two, you can create it using Litchi's Mission Hub website and then download the mission to your phone or tablet. For this tutorial, we are going to use the Mission Hub website. Uh, the reason is that I find it much easier to work with on a bigger screen and also using a mouse and keyboard. Using the app on the phone looks the same and does everything the same as the Mission website, but it's harder to work with. I typically do all the work on the Mission Hub website, load it onto my phone, and then I make edits on the phone. Now let's start by going to the Mission Hub website. First thing we'll need to do is log in using your newly created account. Once you're logged in, you should see your account name in the upper right hand corner. Next, we're going to go down to settings. These are the default settings for your missions. You'll need to choose which aircraft you're using and the rest are optional. You can change them to whatever works best for you. You can choose metric or imperial units. Uh, straight lines or curved lines. Curved lines are best. Cruising speed, that's just the default speed it'll use. Uh, doesn't really matter. 16 miles an hour, 18 miles an hour, somewhere in there is good. Default curve size, uh, that can be anything really. You'll end up changing those a lot of times as the mission goes along. Okay, so now we're going to zoom in and we're going to put down some waypoints. The easiest thing, just click with the mouse and you've got your first waypoint. You can adjust your altitude. Just use that slide bar, you can type it in. I usually 120 feet is good. Uh, you can pick up your cruising speed. If you leave it on cruising, it'll be your defined speed in the mission settings. And here we just lay down our points. And to go back and forth between the points, you can click on the points or you can use those arrows back and forth and they'll move you through the different waypoints. You can edit each waypoint as you go separately. Or you can delete one. If you don't want to just hit that delete button. And then you can just move it, add another one over there. Simple. All of these can be edited at any time. Just like that. Now heading. The heading is a direction the camera will be pointed as it's moving around from waypoint to waypoint. You can see here that the default setting is zero degrees. Uh, you just slide that back and forth and it will just turn the camera the way you want it. That's all you're looking at. 312 degrees for that one. 308 degrees, yeah that's about right. We're just playing around with these. Now we're gonna go and we're gonna save the mission. Let's click on that, click on mission, save. You can name it anything you want. I named mine first test, just to keep it simple. And it's saved. So now if you wanna move these, uh, very simple, just click on one of the waypoints, drag it over to where you want. And you can see it'll move to that spot. It'll move back wherever you want to put it. Uh, the curve kind of moves with it. Uh, yep, just drag it where you need it. Way over there if you want. If you want to delete it, hit that delete button and it's gone. Just like that. 
And if you make a mistake and you want to go back, sometimes the easiest thing is just clear the whole thing by using that eraser button. Go back to missions, open, go over to that folder, hit that open button on the folder and boom, everything's back again. Okay, now that we've created the mission, it's time to fly it. So we'll head out to the location where the mission was created on the map. Okay, now we'll bring up the Litchi app and you can see that the little red arrow looking thing is the aircraft. The blue circle is location of the app phone. We'll go to login. It's a very quick login with our account. And if we go right up the upper left hand corner of that file folder icon, just click on that. That'll bring up our missions that we've created in Mission Pub. First test is the only one on there, it's the only one we've created. And we'll just select that and we're just gonna go down and hit load. And now our mission is there. You can see everything that we've created. And as you can see, it's exactly what we did earlier on the Mission Hub website. Okay, now that everything's loaded, it's time to run the mission. Now we're just gonna go down to the lower left hand corner, click on that play button icon, hit OK to start the mission. And you'll see it's uploading the mission. When it does it, it's uploading all the data up to the drone. Once the drone gets it, it will just start. It'll take off. As you can see right now, it's going up. It'll hit the 120 feet and it'll start its circle around the park. I'm gonna click on this uh, little window down in the bottom. Yeah, you see when I click on that, it changes and now you get the camera view and the map is now in the lower right hand corner instead. You can click back anytime. Here we just cruise around the park and away we go. Click back and you can see the little red icon that's the drone continues to cruise and you can even see the direction that the drone is facing as it cruises through its waypoints. One thing you'll notice on the bottom of the screen, it shows the distance. That's the total distance for the entire mission. And it also shows you the time. As you can see, this one here is only one minute, so it's very quick. So there you have it. That's your very basic waypoints mission using the Litchi app. The Litchi app, of course, can do a whole lot more than this, but the idea of this video was to show you how to load the app, how to create a mission, and how to fly a mission. And here's some camera footage taken during the mission, uh, just so that you can see what it looks like coming straight out of the camera instead of the screen capture video from my iPhone. So that about wraps it up for this video. If you have any questions, just leave a question in the comments or email me at surrealskies at gmail.com. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.